My name is Jeff Zimmer and I'm a glass painter. I make three-dimensional images in glass um, made up by using lots of layers of glass, painting a bit of the image on each layer so that when they're all compiled together you get, a, uh, you get an image that has actual physical depth. I'm using the same types of processes that have been used for centuries with stained glass. So these are enamels that are fired on in the kiln, fired on to 570 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that they become a permanent part of the surface of the glass. Uh, first, I start off by, by finding antique frames or vintage frames. I go to junk shops, I go to antique stores, uh, auctions, and find a frame that has kind of just the right look that I'm wanting, something that's a bit, a bit fancy, a bit heavy, a bit baroque maybe. And then I get, I get light boxes made from those so that, uh, so that there's something to hold glass behind it. Then I cut layers of glass for each of these. When I come up with an idea for an image that I want to make, it's fairly easy for me to look at that and think how many layers I'll need to communicate that idea. Then once I have all of that, I, I will start laying out the image, breaking it down layer by layer on each layer of glass. So then I start painting the image on. And with glass painting, you typically do the, the painting in many stages. So each layer of glass will probably go in the kiln about four or five times. You can see it's a very time-consuming process, um, especially because the kiln that I've got will only take about two of these layers at a time. I tend to be inspired by the news. So my, my work is very engaged with, uh, with ideas that are circulating in culture and, and the news and my responses to those. And so I tend to find sitting down with a newspaper is the best place for me to get ideas. And you know, so I have all of these ideas, themes that, that I think are very important, that I, that I have something to say about what's going on in contemporary culture. So that, you know, I'll have a hundred ideas of things I want to talk about, but perhaps I'll only find one or two that match up to an image. Even though I'm using uh, processes that have been used in stained glass for centuries, um, what I do is, is a bit of a unique take on it because I'm only using artificial light. And you know, so m most of the time when you're working with stained glass, you're wanting the natural light, you're wanting the brilliance of the sunlight. The things that I'm saying are very, are very subtle, they're very ambiguous. And so to have bright sunlight coming through would kind of obliterate that. Also, the, the way I construct images uh, across the layers so that you get a very three-dimensional experience uh, is something that's fairly unique. 